Bo. It has been like four or five days. I've been running Ubuntu as a daily driver. And it feels like way, way more than that. And yeah, talking about that, I, I think I'm going to be disappointing you guys, but I'm giving up. Let's talk about it. As always, let's start with a little bit of context. And let's talk about like Ubuntu in general and why I think it's, it's not a distribution for me, but also not for any gamer out there. Like none. Like zero. So the first thing is about the vision of Ubuntu and what they try to achieve here. If you go with the current distribution, they're going to impose you a desktop environment. And this desktop environment is GNOME. Whether you like it or not, this is what you have to go through. I know there is other alternative, but the challenge was on Ubuntu and not on Kubuntu or Xubuntu or Bluebloom 2. It was on Ubuntu. And Ubuntu, what it is, is num plus snap so num i'm not a fan of it well we'll get into that after but i'm not a fan of it and the second is snap so snap this is their way of distributing software within ubuntu man i'm telling you that's a pain like, like i just i just show you here i've it's installed i, I have firefox okay he show me like i can install it again <laughs> Like it's, it's broken. Let's get a little bit deeper. So uh, as, as I mentioned earlier, I'm going to spare your eyes there on moving this, this window here. We'll get about, the, we'll talk about that after too. But as you know, like w when I installed the distro, it went super smooth at the beginning. Like the, the first 20 minutes, they're super clean. You install the distro, you install the driver, you arrive on your main screen. It's okay. When I started to plug my over monitor, then we start to have trouble. I don't want to go through the whole like installation video. I already advise you to go and watch it. But after that, it has been pain and pain and pain and pain and pain for the, the next five days. I'm, I'm not even kidding. So you're going to be like, hey, Max, you're exaggerating. It's not that bad. No, it is bad. It is actually really, really bad. I have nothing personal against Ubuntu or the people who are working there. I understand like they try to achieve something great there but i would say like for this release let me tell you like this is bad it, it it's just atrocious i was able to solve most of the problem i encountered after the installation the one which are like the most annoying i'm gonna talk about all the issues that i was not able to solve like it was just unsolvable so the first one is about the theme. So when I install a distribution, what I do most of the time, I make sure like all my drivers are up to date. I make sure my kernel is customized as I want and I install it. And then what I do, I make it a nice little place, right? Because, you know, Ubuntu is what it is, but I, I don't like the way it looks out of the box. It's my personal preference. And I do believe it's part of the Linux experience. You are there. You want to do like, you know, as you want. Otherwise, you go on Windows or Mac where everything is fixed. Here, you, you can do whatever you want. That, that's a promise, at least, like freedom. So I don't know if it's a GNOME or Ubuntu issue again. I want to install like the Dracula theme. That's what I like. I follow the whole process from the Dracula website. And guess what? Do, do you see a, a nice Dracula color there? Here it's working okay you can see right away it's working i have the nice button this is how it should look like and look how it look in reality you are like yeah but max it's because it's a snap and the, the themes they don't apply in the snap it's containerized so those buttons are containerized too anyways th there is no solving right now so maybe gnome 45 is gonna solve this issue maybe ubuntu is gonna solve it i don't know what I know is like from my experience, this is a bad experience because I show it to you. I found many distros where everything works out of the box. Sometimes there is little tweak and I'm not, I'm not going that direction saying like everywhere else is perfect and here it's not. No, I'm saying here it's broken and whatever tweak you want to push there, not going to happen. I'm just saying. So now I'm going to show you 
a screenshot I took one day ago. Okay, so this is a screenshot. And you can see here, my snap store broke. I don't know what happened. It was not working anymore, like that. Bam! So this was a, a great moment, knowing that some of the applications you need to install, well, they, they don't have alternative. You have to go through their snap. And if snap is not working, well, you are not in good luck. It's, uh, it's going to be a problem for you. So that's another issue I had. I, I believe like their vision of what should be containerized, the snap or whatever, to date is just not ready to use. And you're going to go through a lot of hassle you shouldn't even have to deal with in the first place. Another disappointment for Ubuntu. Another issue was related to Steam. So I did install Steam the first time and I use the store. And the way it installs Steam is like containerized. And again, I want you to use Mongo HUD. And well, you can't have Mongo HUD in Snap. It, it just doesn't work. So I'm, I'm being a little bit picky here, but you get the idea. I installed Mongo HUD and couldn't make it work with my game in Steam. And we have another problem. What is the issue? I don't know. Do I want to solve it? No. Because I already have a broken team theme. I already have a snap which is breaking half of the time. I, I don't want to deal with that anymore. I'm at a point where I'm like, nope. So that was another issue I encountered. Hey, Hermax from the future here. I'm editing the video and I just noticed I forget the best one. You want to hear about it? So listen, dude, this is a screenshot of the Ubuntu issue I had after having the, the problem related to Snap. So obviously I didn't want to use Steam installed via Snap anymore. I wanted to move toward Steam installed via Deb. Okay, like using the normal install. But I wanted to remove the old one. But guess what? I could not. <laughs> I could not remove it. So this is me trying to debug it, like going on the website and seeing everything. And I'm like, man, this is bad. This is bad because a lot of people had uh, this issue saying like, I cannot remove Snap when it changed, blah, blah, blah. Nothing was happening. And you can see here, I was trying to look at the historic of what were the change. Then I was trying to, to kill the remove Snap to disinstall it. I just could not do it. Like, like nothing worked. It, it was getting worse and worse. Like I couldn't see the end, dude. So after multiple reboots, multiple try, I was finally able to remove it. And it took me like, I don't know, 15 minutes to delete one file, like one repertory or whatever, like 15 minutes. I have a NVMe Samsung ProRed drive, one terabyte. Anyway, that was the cherish on the cake there. Another issue I had was with the sound. And long story short, if you have like different source and different output, you can't set some type of setting between all of them. I'll give you an example. I want to have my Spotify music being played on a specific output. You can't out of the box. So what I had to do, I had to install Pavu Control, which gave me the opportunity to, to save the input and the output. But like, what a pain, dude. Like, like what a pain. It means like right now on Ubuntu, if you have this type of configuration, which is like super common nowadays, like you just need to have a Bluetooth speaker or headset. Well, you are not in, uh, in luck. You're going to be having to manage two different control panel to manage your sound. Yep. And, and imagine if you are a new user and you don't even, even know about Pavu Control. Now we're going to talk about gaming and this is where, you know, everything breaks. Because I could be, you know what? My desktop sucks. My experience sucks. Everything sucks. But at least I have a good gaming experience. Well, through my test, you're going to be a little bit behind what is happening on KDE. Okay, or on Arch or whatever. I think I have like 12 or 10 or 15 FPS more, which is not, this is not bad, right? It's like, like 2%, 3% more or less. So it could be like margin of error. Could be like, yeah, you know, I'm max, you lose a little bit of performance, but at least it's working well. <laughs> 
Well, guess what? I did a stream this morning. And we played two games. The first one we played was a Jedi Survivor. Experience was okay. I had some stuttering. I don't really know why I had the stuttering. So I, I would say like it's maybe because of the game. But I had some stuttering. But the overall experience was great. I have to say it was working good. But I was playing Jedi uh, Fallen Order. I think that's the name of it. It's, it's the oldest version of Jedi Survivor. So it's like a old game. And then I was like, let's play Counter-Strike 2. I launched Counter-Strike 2 and then the experience was horrible. So somehow my FPS was were really, really high on on my uh, Mongo HUD. Like it was like super high, like it was good. But the experience, I just couldn't play the game. It felt so stuttery, so disgusting, dude. I, I, I couldn't play the game. And you have to understand like this is a game running natively. Like it's running natively. And it, it kind of makes me think about the whole experience I had with Ubuntu. Well, I'm going to resume my experience in one sentence. It was a total <laughs> show. Okay? It, it's just unbearable. Starting from the get-go, my experience was bad and it kept going worse and worse and worse. So, can I recommend Ubuntu for gaming? No. And what kind of like worries me at this level is like a lot of users, they're going to jump into Linux and try Ubuntu because, you know, like their surrounding or like people around them, like the, you know, the common fault is that Ubuntu is reliable and accessible. Well, guess what? It's not the case. It's, it's, it's so bad at this point. It's really, really bad. So I really wish that the next release is going to fix all those points I mentioned. But looking at the amount of work you have to go through, I think it's going to be a tough one. It's going to be a really, really tough one. From my perspective, I have to stop the challenge. I have to stop the challenge because I'm at a point where I don't trust the distro. If I do a review of a video game, or if I want to start a stream, now I have anxiety. I'm like, is it going to work? I don't have this feeling with any other distro I decided to keep. Because when I have this feeling, I just ditch the distro. And this is where I think more education needs to be done. And us, YouTubers and users, we need to have like this clarity to say, okay, maybe Ubuntu 10 years ago, 5 years ago, 2 years ago, was a really good distro for gaming. Like it was working. Now, even if I love Ubuntu, do I, can I still put myself behind it? What I'm telling you, like, I, I, I want. If you ask me, do I recommend this distro? I'm going to say no. And any one of us should have the same approach. Be like, okay, is my experience good or bad? If it's good, can it, could it be better somewhere else? Because I show you with Counter-Strike 2, like this is the same driver. This is the same kernel. Everything is the same. And somehow on Ubuntu, it, it just trash. The experience is horrible. So you're going to tell me, yeah, but maybe it's because of NOM. Maybe, but maybe not. Because you see, like I was playing Jedi and I had no issue with it. So it makes me think there is something deeper within Ubuntu which cause problem. And uh, yeah, so for me, like it's just a no-go. I don't want to stay there. I know there is better alternative. Maybe they're going to fix it. I really, and I really wish them to do it. But now, no thanks. That's it. That's all. So guys, thank you again for watching. Don't forget to give a thumbs up or to subscribe if you get any type of like entertainment or information out of this video. If you want to support the channel financially, don't forget to become a YouTube member or a member on my Patreon. But guys, for you who are already participating, thank you very much. You have no idea how much it helps. And uh, for uh, everyone, have a good one. Enjoy the rest of your day and uh, see you on uh, you know, another distro. I, I still don't know what I'm going to do. I'm going to go back to Harsh, I think, because I kind of missed it. 
But yeah, we'll see what type of content I'm gonna come with. But definitely not Ubuntu. I'm out. Have a great rest of your day. Take care, guys. And again, bisous, bisous.